First order of business is finishing the render of my Passepartout round 2 video where I play as French Jazza. <laughs> so I'm uh, rendering that now. I'm going to upload it. The link's in the description, so go check it out. Again, I'm like really, really excited to be doing this. I genuinely get worried about doing things again, like playing Passepartout again, unless I can do something really different and, and make it new. And it's it's... A totally new experience. It's really fun. So if you enjoyed the first round of Passport 2, go watch this. It's just a really fun narrative, and it continues the story. It's like, it's like we've ex experienced the story of Passport 2, and then chronologically we move on to French Jazza. So yeah, go go check it out. The links in the description. So today I'm sort of all over the place. Uh, I'm wrapping up in here for now as that renders, and I'll upload and release it when I get back. But I have an appointment with a personal trainer so I can get fit because I want to lose a bit of weight and get healthy and uh, I've sort of dropped the whole Jake Paul push-ups thing but I've kept my diet up and uh, have been trying to be more active but time is really tricky at the moment. So this is one of my compromises is to make sure I have a very intense personal training session scheduled uh, and then around that of course I want to do some physical stuff as well. So let's get to it. And that was good. I learned that I'm really out of shape. We did CrossFit stuff and it was good. I definitely got wrecked out of it so I won't be able to walk for the next few days but I had a 45 minute session booked and she asked after about 20 minutes, she goes, you sure you don't want a half an hour session? And I was like, I think I do. Let's go with half an hour. So we did a half an hour session. We'll see how we do next week. All right, the news is, oh, hey. I have 1.8 million subscribers. Yay! <laughs> the news is out! Passport 2 featuring Jazza as a playable character. It's a secret unlockable mode. Go watch the video. I'll put it in the description of this vlog as well. It's one of the coolest pieces of content I've had the pleasure of making and I'm so excited to be sharing it. Oh my god, this was fun. On the topic of Passepartout 2, I have a little bit more of some Passepartout 2 prep and content making to do right now because I'm streaming tomorrow. This is a reminder of that, so uh, actually by the time this vlog comes out, I'll be streaming. So go check it out! Anyways, um, before I pack up all the green screeny stuff in the studio, in Studio 2, because I need to pack up that live cube today uh, I thought it would be fun to quickly jump into my French Jazza costume and get some b-roll or some miscellaneous green screen footage that I can use to uh, chroma key myself as French Jazza and throw myself into the game for a, a few miscellaneous cuts the problem with this is I don't know how the gameplay is gonna go so I'm really just gonna flail about and just just do some random stuff <laughs> I have to try and get my hair to look the same as the model in the game. <laughs> so he has the beret down the side and the hair come up a little bit like that. Now, in theory, <laughs> um, I, in the game I could actually, you know, lose or succeed. I could have a really big lucrative ending or I could fail and die and, and in the gutter with no money. So. Basically, uh, I also don't have much time to do this, so for about 15 to 20 minutes I'm going to set up two cameras uh, and one that's going to film f more of my body and the other that's going to film a bit closer and I'll get 4K so I can crop. And the idea is that uh, essentially uh, I do two kinds of things. One, showing off the space a bit, being like, oh, well, check out my new apartment or check out my new studio or whatever, uh, so that I can sort of pop myself into the in-game environment or the screen capture of it and, and jokingly actually be in the game. And then the other thing, is uh, reacting to the things that have happened in the game, which haven't happened yet. So uh, I'm going to have to like incrementally have like reactions that get more and more intense. So I need to get like super emotional in every possible way that in the game my character might get emotional. This is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, I love my job. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. My name is French Jazza and this is my clip. It is magnifique. Oh, I'm in love. The journey of an artist is a lonely one. 
Why, why, why do they not treat me with the respect I deserve? All I do is give, give of my heart and they crush it and throw it in the ground. Why do I still sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger? They love me. They really love me. There is no reasonable place for integrity in this world. Take that passport too, you silly green sellout! <laughs> what can I do to change things? How can things be different? Everything is always the same. They love it. Oh, yay! Sucker blue. No! Solid uh, session of emotion. Good job, French Jazza. Back to work. <sighs> okay, I feel like I've prepared for every eventuality. Now I've got to pack all this up and I don't have much time to do it. Let's make a game out of it. I'm going to snap edit to the future. When I click, I'm going to let you know what time it is. The time of starting is 4.36. There you go. Uh, oh, what's the time? It's uh, 5.43, so a little over an hour, and the studio's back. It's not 100% back, because I have to set that stuff up, that's the drum and music stuff, but I'm not setting it up because I need this space to film on Wednesday, so I'm just leaving it in a pile in the corner for now, and I'll deal with that later, but that'll make setting up that place easier. So, anyways, I'm going to go in the office, wrap up, and take the question of the day. Zayats asks, I'd hate to be that guy, but are your reactions authentic? They seem over-exaggerated, at least to me. Uh, the answer to that is sort of yes and no. Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm a performer, so I'm sort of amping it up a little bit, but they're, they're authentic, you know? Like, I guess you get used to putting yourself in a mode where you have less inhibition. So yeah, on the one hand, there is an element of amping it up, and I see it sort of like I saw street performing. I used to go busking in the city. You really need to keep your energy levels to a certain point to make sure you're grabbing people's attention and being entertaining. But that doesn't mean the whole thing is fake or like I'm bringing it out of nowhere. Because in reality, I'm actually a very energetic person. I put a lot of my energy into the videos and get myself excited. Um, so if you meet me in person or see me randomly on the street, I'll be usually pretty chill because I get stuck in my head and think about stuff. But then when it comes to doing stuff, I'm like a super enthusiastic, very energetic person. So yes, I'm adding a little bit of exaggeration and uh, amplifying it a bit, but also no, it's, uh, it's me. I'm having a lot of fun when I'm saying I'm having fun. Like I genuinely get super excited. And the reason I wanted to make the Passepartout 2 video without having seen any of the dialogue or knowing anything that was coming was because I wanted to make sure that when those things surprised me, I could really have fun with my genuine feelings and amplify that to, to make the video that you saw. Anyways, I hope that answers your question. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and remember the stream tomorrow, which is today, which is sort of now or you've missed it. So join me as I once again bon the beret, bon? Don the beret and the glasses and the turtleneck maybe one last time and uh, finalize our Passepartout sessions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.